Okay, so here is how you identify the teeth and the parts of the teeth. So this is a dentiform, it's like a set of fake teeth. So what you do is you draw an imaginary line down the midline of the face between the two central incisors. And so if we flip it over, these four teeth are the central inci or pardon me, are the incisors. The two in the middle are the central incisors. The next two are the lateral incisors. The next two are the canines. Then these two are premolars. The one further forward is the first premolar. The second one is the second premolar, the one further back. Same thing on this side, first premolar, second premolar. Then comes the first permanent molar and the second permanent molar. The third permanent molar, which we almost never deal with, is the third molar or the wisdom tooth. So it's not shown on this cast. Usually we don't put brackets on wisdom teeth. So again, it's central incisors, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar. And it's the same on the bottom teeth. So these are the central incisors, lateral incisor, canine, first and second premolars, first and second molars, like that. In orthodontics, we number them. Imagine drawing a line down the center of the mouth and you label the teeth as numbers going away from that line. So here's a tooth one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you have four quadrants of the mouth. This is the upper left side of the patient's mouth. So if the person's looking at you, this is the left side of their face. So this is the upper left side. Here's the upper right side. Here's the lower left and the lower right. So this would be upper left one, upper left two, upper left three, upper left four, upper left five, upper left six, and upper left seven. And same down here, lower left, one, two, three, four, and so on. And then upper right and lower right, one, two, three, and four, and so on. So when you refer to the sixes, the sixes are the first molars, upper and lower. So this is lower left six, this is lower right six, upper left six, upper right six, right there. Um, so we do it this way in orthodontics. This is a little different than how they do it in dentistry because we deal with symmetry. So we'll say chain two to upper two to two. So it's upper right two to upper left two. So to be brief, we just say chain upper two to two, and that means across these here, or upper three to three. Or we'll say we're going to extract upper lower fours. That would be upper lower first premolars here. Or this one and that one. Okay, so that's how you identify the teeth. Next, the parts of the tooth. So again, imagine a line down the center of the mouth. I'll flip it over here so it's a little easier to see. The part of the tooth nearer the midline is mesial. The part of the tooth further from the midline is distal. So on this tooth, here's the mesial of the tooth. Here's the distal of the tooth mesial of the tooth, distal of the tooth, and so on. And on this other side, again, it's not left and right, it's close to the midline and far from the midline. So since the midline's here, this is the mesial of that tooth, and this is the mesial of that tooth, and the distal. And of this tooth, here's mesial, here's distal, mesial, distal, and so on. And same thing on the bottom. The closer to the midline is the mesial, further from the midline is the distal of that tooth. As far as uh, front to back goes, this side of the tooth is called the lingual, or sometimes on the top we call it the palatal. Lingual meaning lingua or tongue in Latin. And so the lingual side of the lower teeth is the inside. The inside of the upper teeth is called the palatal. Sometimes people use those terms interchangeably, but either lingual or palatal means the inside. And then the outside of the tooth is either labial or buccal. Labial meaning lip, uh, and buccal, I don't know what that means, but out in something in Latin means the cheek, uh, I believe it means the cheek side. So technically speaking, the fronts, these would be the labial, and in the back you call them the buccal, but again, they're usually used interchangeably oftentimes. So inside is palatal or lingual, the outside is the labial, or the buckle, 
or the facial, sometimes people will call it. So the facial is the outside surface, the side towards the face. <coughs> Height-wise, this is the incisal, this is the gingival. So it's near the incisal edge, and this is near the gingiva. Uh, back here in the back, sometimes they'll call it occlusal. So incisal or occlusal means the lower part, the biting surface of the tooth, and gingival uh, means the gum side of the tooth. That's the difference top to bottom. Okay, for the parts of the brackets, same rules apply. So the basically on a bracket you have four tie wings. They're one, two, three, and four. Those are the little hooks that hold the rubber band that holds the wire into the bracket. So you put a wire in there, and then the little rubber band goes on and that's those four tie wings are what hold that rubber band in place. So these are the mesial, here's the midline right here. So these are the mesial two tie wings of this tooth and here are the distal two tie wings. On this one, mesial and distal. And then over here, since here's the midline, here are the mesial two because they're closer to the midline and here are the distal two tie wings. On the brackets from the canine and the premolars and the molars, they have what are called hooks. So you'll see these little things standing up like little posts. So those are called hooks. And back here, here's the hook on the molar. This uh, dentiform doesn't have a bracket on the seven, um, but it would look very similar to this. This is a band. So you'll see these brackets are bonded on to the tooth or glued to the surface. This one is banded, so it's a band that goes all the way around. Um, usually these back ones will have bonded brackets as well, but just this dentiform has a band. So these are hooks. These are what you hook the elastics to when they're going to wear elastics to help correct the bite. And then this right here is called a headgear tube, that big tube right there. So if they're going to wear a headgear, which we'll go over in another video, that's where that headgear uh, wire would go.